As the Magnavox Odyssey began to fall into obscurity, the industry was hitting a low point as Pong consoles were flooding the market. But, the newest console would change things up, as you were able to insert a different video game cartridge anytime you wanted to play a new game variation. So today, we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing the Fairchild Channel F. Now, as mentioned earlier, the Fairchild Channel F is the first console to use cartridges known as video carts. And where better place to start than Video Cart 1? This game includes Tic-Tac-Toe, Shooting Gallery, Doodle, and Quadradoodle. And after inserting the cartridge and flipping the switch, it is strangely located on the back of the console, we can get a red G with a green background to show up on our TV screen. We will then need to turn to the face buttons and select button 1 so we can get a game called Tic-Tac-Toe. In this game, the player is tasked with being an AI in a simple game of Tic-Tac-Toe. Hey, what the frick, stupid? Oh, why you little... Besides Tic-Tac-Toe, Video Card 1 also includes Shooting Gallery, Ugh. Doodle, and Quadradoodle. This isn't a game at all! And now with Video Card 1 out of the way, we can finally move on to some other games, which include Desert Fox, I'm having so much fun. Memory match. How are you even supposed to play this? And maze. Hmm. Ah! My eyes! Fairchild finished releasing video carts around the year 1978, with the most popular one being Pinball Challenge. Wait a minute! This is just Breakout by Atari! Screw this! Each of these video carts ended up costing an extra $20 with purchase, which meant more income for the company. Sadly, the Channel F was not a success due to the fact that it came out at a bad time and it had a lack of entertaining games for the consumers to play. But it was a step in the right direction, as cartridge technology paved the way for Atari's masterpiece that is the Atari 2600. But another company was gearing up to use cartridge technology for their own console, and Magnavox returned. Coming up next is the Magnavox Odyssey 2. <laughs>